Hey, it's David Farmer, and today we're picking up on Google Analytics with goals and events. One of the questions that we get all the time is how successful is a call to action that we have on our SRP or our VDP? One way to be able to track this is by utilizing events. Now, with Google Analytics, there's multiple things that you can track, of course, uh, two of them being events and goals. I think it's a good idea to get a, a, a good understanding of the difference between what a goal is and what an event is. And the way I like to think about events is if you're running a race, and every time that you jump a hurdle, that's gonna be an event that takes place to get you to where you're going. Now, once you win the race and you hit that, that tape at the end, that's gonna be the goal. So um, looking at what events are gonna to have to take place to achieve the goal that you're looking for is one great way to think about the difference between events and goals. Now, to set up events, I'm gonna share, share with you today a way to do it by utilizing uh, Google Tag Manager, which you can set up for your dealership's website, and how you can set up different triggers and tags to be able to push data into Google Analytics, so you're gonna be able to see the success of how many times customers click on each individual CTA that you have on your SRP or your VDP. Let's go ahead and take a minute and jump in. So what I'm gonna do is let me jump over into uh, Google Tag Manager. Let me go ahead and get this uh, opened up. And inside Google Tag Manager, you have the, uh, so we'll talk and do a deeper dive on GTM at a later date, uh, but this is gonna assume that you already have access to your Google Tag Manager account and that you have a pretty good understanding of how this works. Uh, so what I'm going to be able to do inside here is uh, select triggers on the bottom uh, or the left hand side of uh, GTM, Google Tag Manager, and I can create a new trigger. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and name this uh, launch uh, loan maker. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna track how many people click on the get free credit score button that we have embedded on a SRP. So it's gonna be launch loan maker. I can come in here and select uh, click. So this is gonna uh, look for all the clicks that are taking place on a dealership's website. Uh, I'm only gonna, I'm interested in some of the clicks, meaning uh, ones that we're gonna specifically target. So I'm gonna go, and what I'm gonna use for this is since we've had, since we have this CTA set up with a button image, I'm gonna be able to uh, to track that by using a form URL. And I made a little cheat sheet for myself a little bit earlier. Let me go ahead and uh, get this open. Uh, I have this in my Google Drive, uh, and this is gonna let me know the, the image names. Uh, so you can do this, uh, you can uh, have this set up in your dealership's website. So I have an image on our uh, demo website, which I'll actually show you real quick. Get free credit score, it's that button that we're going to uh, track uh, from customers that are on the, on the site. Uh, so I'm gonna grab the name of that, which I have right here, and I can jump in back over to Google Tag Manager, and I'm gonna say it contains that. Okay, so now one part of it is done. You can see how simple it really is. Now I'm gonna come into Tags, and I'm gonna create a new tag. New tag, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name it the same thing, which is gonna be Launch Loan Maker. I'm gonna come down here, Trigger, and now I'm gonna select uh, that trigger that I've already created, and I'm gonna customize the tag itself. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, we, we wanna push an event inside of Google Analytics. So the top one is what we're going to select, uh, and the track type is gonna be that event. And uh, how, so when you are pushing these events, you can name specifically the category, the action, the label, the value of that uh, individual event. I already have that uh, set up over here too. So my category I wanna have is entice 
I can add that right there. And I'm gonna make this CTA um, buttons. And the label, I'm gonna name it Launch Loan Maker. I'm just gonna uh, give it a value of one. I am going to make sure that uh, we, we do have to have an interaction uh, with that. And then I'm gonna assign it to uh, all page properties inside of Google Analytics. And that's it, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. So now I saved this trigger and tag, and we're gonna take one last step to make sure it's actually working. Uh, so to do this, and this is actually a new feature inside of Google Tag Manager, they changed it a little bit and it's actually in beta. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit that preview button. It's gonna ask me what website do I have this tag installed on? And I click start, and it's gonna go ahead and open up that website. And that other, uh, the other page, that tab that stayed open, is going to track everything that's taking place. So, for, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to our new uh, SRP. You can see that I have the uh, free credit score button right there. I'm going to go ahead and click that. So right now, we should be tracking that mouse click inside of Google Analytics. Let's see if it worked. So actually I can come over to uh, GTM uh, first to make sure it actually did work. I'm gonna come over here on my left-hand side. I'm gonna hit uh, click. And now you see right here, did that tag fire? Uh, launch lead maker, it says it, it did succeed. So it's done. It actually did track that inside of uh, Google Tag Manager. Now let's see if it actually worked inside of Google Analytics. So I'm gonna go over to analytics real quick. I'm gonna make sure that I'm in my right property, uh, which I am uh, for my demo site. Um, I can go to real time and then go to events. And then from there, if I uh, select events in the last 30 minutes, it'll tell me everything that has uh, uh, fired in the last 30 minutes. You can see right here, CTA buttons. Uh, that is the event and event category. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the event category itself, and you can see right there, launch Loan Maker. Now, from this point forward, uh, actually, one last step I have to take, which we'll do. Um, let's go back over to Google Tag Manager. I'm gonna hit Submit, um, and this is actually gonna publish that live. Uh, so adding loan, Launch Loan Maker. I hit publish. Now, from this point forward, anytime anybody clicks that button anywhere on that SRP or on the VDP, we're going to be able to track that event. All right, so today we talked about events and goals inside of Google Analytics, how you can utilize Google Tag Manager to set up those very simply so you can really see when you create CTAs on your SRP and your VDP, how much engagement is actually taking place. As always, we really appreciate you taking your time and watching our videos. If you were, if you felt like this was successful and you, you got some information out of it, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. You'll be notified every time that we upload a new video to our YouTube channel. Again, as always, we really appreciate your time. You're gonna find this video plus many others available on entice.com.